just arrived in Manchester for my weekend, vocations weekend with the Society of Catholic Priests. So uh, I'll bring you along with me and uh, hopefully show you what sort of things I'm going up to. Today we're going around various churches. We're at our second church of the day. We're all really bonding as a group, which is really nice. We had the Eucharist this morning, which I think, for me anyway, I had quite a significant, you know, to do that together. Just hearing different people's stories and I think we're going to have some more sort of vocationally oriented things this afternoon like we did yesterday evening. So we've just re met Rachel, Rachel Mann who was very interesting, gave some very interesting ideas about vocation and her uh, journey. I'm definitely going to be reading her book, I don't know about you guys, but uh, that's on the book list. We're off to the Bristol Top Tour of Churches really, isn't it? We're going off to the next one, but we're having, we're having lunch this time, so it'll be a little bit more relaxed. So we just finished with uh, Bishop Mark, who I think I, I found very inspirational. Yeah, a lot to think about. I made copious notes during that session. I'll write them in the blog post down below, so you should be able to find them. Going back now for a rest uh, before curry night. I'm just about to go to bed on uh, the last night here. We've got uh, a nice morning and lunch tomorrow, and then it'll be over. And this evening I was reflecting a little bit, because I think I've been a bit loud and a bit boisterous. I kind of get now why God wants me to do a year as a pair assistant. I think I need to work on how I express myself a little bit. Because um, it rubs people up the wrong way, and I know that, but I think this weekend has kind of shown me how important it is to my formation in ministry that I work on that. So we just uh, stopped, uh, finished talking to um, Father Ian, who is um, at this parish of the church we're in at the moment. It was a very interesting conversation going through the criteria mainly, and he said some interesting things. All I had yesterday was it's been really good to be in a mix of people and, and to meet so many different wise people because, you know, I think I need to really embrace the fact that I don't know a lot. I asked both the bishop and Ian what was a red flag of Kenton and they both said the same thing. They said overconfidence, over assertiveness. That went up as a red flag in my head because I suddenly thought, oh my god, I can be that person. I'm on my journey of humility now, which is very much needed. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm trying to share my journey, and sometimes it looks like this, and it's really odd because I don't know why I'm crying. I've just spent a lovely evening with my parents, having finished a lovely weekend, and I got some bad news about my cat. That's not devastating news. It feels like there's so many big things, so many big life things going on. I suppose it's scary. I don't know, it's really hard to articulate. But it doesn't mean that I don't have a sure sense of where I'm supposed to be going or anything like that or I've lost any sort of trust in the fact that I'm where I'm supposed to be. And the most just intensely concentrating over this weekend on my vocation and <sighs> their life choices. And I suppose the impact of that hadn't really hit me. It is scary. And I know I've got God with me on that journey and I've got so many friends and family and they're all so supportive but it's very hard sometimes it's not loneliness and it's not feeling alone it's just a sudden moment of looking from the perspective of realising it's my life it's just just my my be and though it's going to affect other people and it's so great that they are all involved. I had such a great time over the weekend. I saw such beautiful people. It is an emotional journey. And it involves snot and tears. As well as the joy in the bells and the incense. I suppose I'm sharing this. Because I embrace all of it. It is my life. It is a whole experience. And it is not a dress rehearsal. This is it. This is this Sunday evening. And it will never happen again. And I will never have an experience like I did on this weekend again. And it's obviously had an effect. Probably, ultimately, for good. I'm still, even though I'm scared, and kind of aware that it's just me in some ways. Some elements are just me. I'm still at peace with where I am, where I'm going. Tears and all. And I suppose that's quite a nice thing to have realised.